Hey there Math Aces and welcome to Mr. Ace Math. In this video, we're going to write the ratio of stars to circles from this group of shapes below. We're going to make sure we write it in three ways and we are going to put it in simplest form if possible. Before we can even start, what are the three ways to write ratios? Let's start with the first way which is to use the word 2. 2 is the most important word when dealing with ratios because a ratio is a comparison of two things and that word 2 separates those two things. The first thing is before the word 2 and the second thing is after the word 2. And just so you know, those things are called terms. So in this question, the first term in a ratio is talking about the number of stars. And how many stars do you see in this group of shapes? Well, let's count them. We've got our first star here, star number one, our second star here, which is star number two, then the next one here, which is star number three, and no, 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 yes. Star number four, and no, no. So we've got four stars below. The second term in our ratio, or the second thing we're talking about, is the number of circles. And how many circles are there in our group? Well, let's count them. We've got circle number one, circle number two, no, 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 no. So, we only have two circles in this group. Now that we know the number of stars and the number of circles, we can start writing our ratios. So if we're using the word two, we'll start by writing the number of the first term in our ratio. Since we're talking about the number of stars and there are four of them, we'll start by writing the number four. Then we'll write the word two. And then we'll write the second term in our ratio, which is the number of circles. Since there are two circles, that will be the second number in our ratio. So we could say the ratio of stars to circles is four to two. But we also have to make sure that we put it in simplest form. If we're putting it in simplest form, that means we have to find some number that can divide both values in our ratio. And what's the biggest number that can divide four and two? Well, that would be two. And what's four divided by two? Well, that's equal to two. Then we'll write the word two. And then we'll divide the second value by two as well. And what's two divided by two? That's just one. So then we'll write one here. So we could say that the ratio of stars to circles is four to two. And when we simplify that, the ratio is two to one. The next way to write ratios is by using a colon. And in case you're not sure, a colon is just these little two dots, one on top of the other. And we're putting it exactly where we would have put the word two. So again, we're gonna start with the first value in the ratio, which is four. We're then gonna put the colon. And then we're gonna put the second value in our ratio, which is two. Now this will simplify the same exact way. So we're still gonna write it as equal to two. Instead of the word two, we're gonna write the colon. And then we'll just write the number one. Here's an important note. Even though you're writing it with the colon, you would still read it as two to one. And finally, the last way to represent ratios is by using the fraction notation. Now, when we write it as a fraction, the first value in our ratio goes in the top of the fraction. So we'll put four on top. Then we'll put our fraction notation. Then in the bottom of the fraction, we'll write the second value of our ratio. So here we'll write the value two. When we simplify this, we're going to write it as two over one. But Mr. Ace, if it's two over one, wouldn't we write it as the value two? 
The answer is absolutely not. And the reason why is because remember that a ratio has to be a comparison of two values. When you write it like this, there aren't two values anymore. So we don't write it as just a number like that. And just like with a colon, when we're writing it as a fraction, we don't read it as a fraction, like four over two and two over one. We would read it using the word two. So this would still be read as two to one. And just like that, math faces, we're done. We wrote the ratio of stars to circles using the three different ways and in simplified form. If this helped you, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Questions, comments, leave them down below. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.